How do developers find their bugs? So the best way is to use a debugger. But the most common way is to use print. To be serious, I am one of the developers who are using print way too often. Mostly I am fine with it, but on some point it's quite annoying. If you forget to remove the print functions or comment them out, all your output will be spammed with the debug values. This looks really messy and no one wants to see it. But for some case, we are really helpful. Python wouldn't be Python if there wasn't a solution already. And the solution is the logging module. What can you do with the logging module? You can simply use it like a print function and display your debug information on the screen, but it's much powerful. First of all, you can make it silent, so the debug information are only shown if you really want it. Therefore, you specify the level of your message and then simply configure the logger to only display the level you like. As I told, you can display the information on the screen or you can write it in a file. If you don't like files, you can send them to the server. Maybe this sounds a little bit complicated, but I will explain it in a minute. And as always, I will use an example to explain this. Again, we will look in the package image flip and on the last release, I really forget to delete a print function. Now it's time to remove a print function with a logging module. First of all, we have to include the logging module. And then we have to get the logger. You can have multiple logger with different names all over your project. As an example, you can use one logger for one special file and then only print all the errors or the debug information from this file. You can use any name, but make sure the name makes sense in your content. So we use our logger inside the class, so I take the class name for the logger. Now we have the logger inside the class, and now we can use them to replace the print function. You see, I use the function debug to write the log message. You can use other functions like warning or information to specify a level of your message. This shows how important your message is, and you can filter them out. So for example, you only want to display really, really important errors, or if you only want to show everything to the user. If you now run the program, you see nothing. This is great, so we don't see the debug information and already have fixed our problem. To display the debug information, we have to extend our command line interface. We simply add one argument to display all debug informations. You see, as we execute the application, there are more debug messages as you accept. These are all messages from other package who use the logging module. We can quick change the logging setting to only get message from our package. This was a really quick example how you can use the logging module. If you are interested in more information, I will write a link in the video description. And if you have any question, please write a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.